Okay, um, so I guess we'll be starting soon. I'm just going to share my screen a bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you can let me know when you see my screen. Stuff. Okay. Um, so today um, we are going to talk about in how do you take your model um, that you've built uh, in your notebook or in Python source code and then create um, actions, uh, things that um, Alexa can do, right? Uh, actions uh, also called intents. Uh, so how do you describe those um, and how does it work? Um, yeah, so there's, um, I'd say about, you know, generally uh, two ways to actually do that. Uh, you could do it on the console uh, or you could do it uh, really with um, code. So I think they have Node.js code that you could write, which is JavaScript, or you could use uh, Python. I think most of us are familiar with Python. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take you through um, those two ways to do that. Um, yeah, so the simplest way um, to actually do that, uh, just open some pages here. So, close this. Okay. So these are called, um, you know, uh, skills blueprints. These are blueprints. So basically what you can do, uh, you can go to uh, blueprints.amazon.com uh, slash skills. I don't really remember how I, I got here, uh, but this is the this is the URL. Uh, but okay, let's just say the the easiest way. So if you go to AWS, just go to AWS.com. And um, then you sign into your console. Okay, so I'm using my personal email here. Uh, what's going on? Okay. So I'm just in case you have to do this yet. 
So in case you forget how to get here, just go to uh, the main AWS console and then just sign in there. Okay, hope X this time. Okay, so something. Yeah, my, my eyesight when it comes to uh, captures is, is always terrible. Okay, there we are. I guess I, I, that's why I need uh, computer vision, right? <laughs> anyway, so, so you go to your console and then, okay, as you can see here, Alexa for business. Um, but, you know, because I've just visited it, that's why it's showing what they could do, just say Alexa. And then you have Alexa for business here. <clears throat> And then you have Amazon Lex, which is something different. Uh, then you select that. And with AWS, there's things to do with regions. Um, I mean, they selected you know, US East uh, Virginia, but normally I would be using uh, Island, I think. Yeah, I'll be using this one. Normally, this is the one I use, uh, but I'm not sure <clears throat> if it has all of these things because it has to do with where you are and how fast your connection to AWS can be. So, this is something that actually matters as well sometimes. But for now, we won't change it to just leave it as it is. Um, and then, this is Alexa for business, uh, and you can, you know, uh, do a lot of things here. You can configure your own. Um, voice commands to um, talk to Alexa, right? So there's three options here. Uh, provision and manager, manage Alexa devices, configure conference rooms, and role and manage users, uh, you know, getting started guide, etc. right? So I think it's either one of these steps, but this one, which will lead you to, to this page that I have open here. Uh, but you can just find your way around. Uh, you can just find your way around. I think I had to do uh, a bit of digging to eventually learn the, the, like, where I can actually create or come to this page. Right. Um, so this is a, a very simple uh, UI uh, that they have here. Right. <clears throat> so when you land on the home on the home page. You have uh, to create Alexa skills in minutes. So this is this is the user interface way of doing it. Uh, this is the easiest way of doing it. Um, but of course, it's it's labor intensive, um, and it's not programmatic, right? Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So so there's different blueprints that they provide. So school schedule, custom Q and A, chart chart, rooster, and <clears throat> how many days, burns. You know, so different different things that they provide templates for you, and you know if you click on each of them, you can test it out, right? Um, yeah. So there's there's lots lots of templates which they call uh, blueprints that you can use, as you can see here. There's lots of them, right? Uh, so let's see. Uh, I think. Uh, this is an easy one as well. Okay, I'm not sure this is not as easy. Uh, this is easier, right? Um, and then I am actually not sure, but you probably won't be able to, because I'm using a different machine to share my screen uh, and a different machine for, for sound. You probably won't be here, able to hear this. Um, I don't know what to do about that, but anyway, um yeah let me see just tell you what it says see if i do this um yeah so so basically the the sound the sound there is just saying you know uh, alex how many days until how are you vacation and then Alexa answers, and then Alexa says, another day closer. Our vacation is six days away, better start getting ready, right? So this would be 
the what they what they call your um your wake up uh, I think wake word that's what they call it uh, because Alexa cannot be listening to your conversation in the house constantly so once you say Alexa then Alexa wakes up and then it listens right to your query to it right and in here uh, you probably you have uh, what they call the intents um, and I'm not sure here in this case what it is. Uh, either it's how many days, probably how many days, because this is called how many days. So your intent is called how many days, right? And then uh, this would be your uh, the, the, the the query that you're giving it, right? Um, and based on this query, then Alexa would invoke uh, the, the how many days uh, skill. Uh, you know, which come to us here as a blueprint that they've already created, and then it will give you the the number of days. Uh, you know that 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 is true for for this question, right? Uh, and you can imagine from here, from from asking this question, and then getting this answer right. A lot of things happen right between these two steps, right? And, you know, it sounds trivial, uh, but there's a lot of uh, you know machine learning and background coding that must happen to go from here to here, right? So now here, they, they explain to you, you know, how do you actually create an, uh, you know, a, a skill, right? Um, you know, so there's, you know, uh, private skills that you can create yourself and you can also publish those skills, right? So this is one example of a skill uh, that, you know, uh, Alexa has, right? Um, because it's extensible. This is, this is the whole point. You can extend Alexa with your own uh, skills. Uh, so here it's how to, how to create it. I'll tell you, give, give it your, the, the name of your event, choose the date of your event, because you know, this is specific to, to this one, right? Because it talks about days uh, and customized phrases and sounds and so your screen, you know? So this is how you actually do it uh, in this uh, UI interface. Um, yeah, and then you can you can test it out, and then there's other blueprints that you, that you can play around with. Uh, but if you, if they you say okay, cool, I understand what this one does, and actually here it's just one question and one answer, right? Um, I don't know how to actually ask this skill set. Um, maybe if I have my own Alexa, maybe it's already been deployed there, then I can ask you know how many days until Christmas, how many days until my birthday, etc., right? Uh, so you can, you know, probably, you know, ask those questions if it's deployed and it does, you know, more than what do I see in here, right? So if you say make your own, if you make your own, then, you know, so you get, you know, this interface, there's about, you know, uh, three pages here, uh, schedule, experience, name, right? And then you can give it uh, name of the event. So, uh, case Alex, open how many days or uh, name the event, choose a date, etc. So, if you say, uh, I think you can say Christmas, and then we can say uh, it's supposed to be December 25, right? Okay. December 25, it's an annual event, right? If it, so not in the fifth, and then you say end. Right? Uh, okay. I think also that's when you want to end another. Uh, let's see. So I'm in South Africa, so I'll just say use day. And then we'll say use day is June 16, right? And then it's also an annual event. Right? So we created two events. So next, right? And it takes us to this, uh, you know, experience page. Uh, want to customize your... And, okay, so great news, another details. Are, okay, so that's fine. Okay, message, closing message. All right, we'll, we'll just leave it as that. We'll not add anything else, right? But you can add whatever opening message that you want. So when you ask your question, what, what do you want Alexa to say first before it gives you the answer? And when it's done, you know, when it's giving you the answer, what you wanted to say, right? You can add those, you can remove the ones you don't want. Uh, and then in closing sound, you can add that as well. You know, uh, yeah. And then the background image to, that goes with that, okay? 
but we won't change anything here. It's not sufficient. Say name. Okay, so state how many days. Um, okay, we'll just say call it two because this is this is our own. Uh, uh, can you say two? Okay, so when we create the skill, just so we can differentiate, make a school two or three words. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just leave it. I'm not sure if there will be a conflict there, but let's find out. It's creating the school. Okay, it's just building. Okay, it's creating. Okay, it does take a while. So, I mean, these two Christmas, when is youth day? Um, open how many days? Right? So, it creates the skill, and yeah, they show you okay, cool, you can test your skill, um, and other things that you can actually do there. It's creating the skill, it takes a while. Uh, but the other thing, what it does that, let's see. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. But really, it's simple because we just added, you know, uh, two days or two intents. So it shouldn't take that long. So intents, it's basically, uh, you know, what you're trying to, to do. Basically, so within how many days, what what action do you actually want? What day do you actually want? So these are all called intents. Great. So now it's been created. So you can actually uh, you can publish it. You can do various things. But I wanted to test it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can publish it. Okay. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> anyway. Um, with others, let's just see skills we've made. Okay, let's see. Let's not publish it because I think that that's something else. Okay, let's click there. Okay, that's the okay. Let's go to the next blueprint. Okay, let's see. Okay, no, anyway, um, yeah, no, I think publishing it, I'm afraid that, you know, publishing it will go to the wider audience. Uh, but yeah, basically, this is, you know, simple way of creating a skill. Um, and, you know, this is an example of, you know, what it can actually do, right? Uh, yeah, so this is, this is a very simple, basic, uh, but you can make it, as complicated as you want, uh, but as you saw, uh, it's really manual. Um, yeah, so it's really manual. Like you have to be, you know, typing a lot, making a lot of changes there. Uh, yeah, but I do wanna try this. Let's see, yeah. uh, copy link. Copy. Just wanna test it out. Okay. Uh, okay. It seems that there is a a lot that that you have to do before you can okay let's grant permission. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's we're going too far. Uh just leave that. Okay. okay. Ah, you see. Now. Ah, okay. So we'll not do that. Uh, okay, we'll not do that. Yeah, but. You know, to publish is, is a bit more work when you want to publish your skill, but you can publish it and, you know, for, for a wider audience. But yeah, for, for me to give 
permission, Amazon needs my, you know, my credit card number, right? So let's not go there. But that's a, a you know, a simple way of, of doing that, where you can, you know, create your, your skill on this user interface, right? And you can add as you saw, you can make add as many examples as you want, um, and you can tweak uh, different things there. Right? So that's one way of doing it. Uh, I think there's another way here, <clears throat> which is a bit more advanced. Uh, okay, which is this one. Uh, so this one, I think this is more like a like a test, you know, simple test. You know, you know, for people, for laymen, I guess, laymen. But here, if you're a dev, then you can use this. So uh, I had it open here. Let's see if I can go back. Okay. So, oh, great! <laughs> it does show uh, my other skill that I created using the different a different UI, right? Which is great. So everything is synced. Um, now you can. So I was trying to create one here. I think. So what you can do with this console? So this one, I think with this one, I just needed to just log in, right? Just need to log in, and that was fine. But with this one, because as you can see here. As you can see, this is the Alexa developer console. You need to create a developer account uh, with Amazon, right? It doesn't take long. Um, you know, so it's not like Twitter or Facebook. They grant it to you immediately, right? So with this UI, it's a bit more detailed. You can create skill. Uh, and then you can just say, uh, Okay, let's see, test Alexa, okay. Uh, I hope that can work. And there's different options here, right? You could, you know, just go through, you know, all, all these descriptions. Uh, it's a lot to go through here. But you can go through these descriptions to understand, you know, what, what do they want uh, in terms of what type of name um, are allowed, you know, etc. Um yeah, and, and you know, syncing locals, so what does that actually mean? Uh, but uh, in terms of choosing choose, choosing a model to add uh, to your skill, right? you can see that, you know, there's a custom model, which is already selected here. It's flash briefing, uh, you know, gives users control of their feed, you know, so it's about news, smart home, you know, controlling uh, home devices, uh, find and consume video content, you know, probably you could link this to, to your Netflix, etc. right? So there's, there's different uh, things that you can do here, right? Uh, you can just choose based on uh, your needs, right? So for us, we'll go for the custom one. So we want to build something which is unlike uh, the three examples here. And then you can choose how to host. Right? So this is more uh, in terms of functionality. And then how to host is more about, you know, uh, the, the software that runs it, right? So you want to run it, you know, within Alexa as a Node.js app, you want to run it as a Python app, or do you want to just, you know, provision it yourself, right? So I think here, you know, they're saying you can uh, provision your own endpoint and backend resources for your skills. So probably you'd be linking it to, you know, your server somewhere else, right? So I think... Um, in this case here, um, I think I will show you uh, soon uh, what we're building here. <clears throat> uh, so here, so I'll just list here. Okay, this is not informative. So for example, we have this um, app that we're, um, we're, we're going to look at called Flask Ask, right? So this one, you can run it. Okay, it's running actually here, right? Just do, you know, flask run, Python uh, dash m underscore uh, dash m flask run, and then it's deployed locally. So I'm just going to copy this link in case it's not allowed. Okay, it is running. It's a simple one, you know, 
it's text. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, so basically, you know, this would be, you know, probably a request. And then, you know, uh, if, if this is linked to Alexa, then you'd get your, your response, right? So if, you're, if, if I've deployed it locally, right, then with this option, uh, that's the option. Okay, so then with this option, right, so then, I'll, you know, I'll be linking Alexa to, to, to this app that is running here, right? Or wherever it's running. Um, I mean, of course, you know, if for deployment, you know, it shouldn't be running uh, locally, right? So 127.0.0.1, that's running locally. It should be running somewhere else, right? Because if I switch off this computer, it must still continue to run. Anyway, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're, you know, Pythonistas, so we choose uh, to run it with uh, with Python and hosting it, you know, on, on, on Alexa, which is like on AWS, right? So I wouldn't have to worry about you know, setting up machines, etc. right? Uh, building up Docker, whatever, right? So we don't have to do that. So just create a skill. And then let um, Amazon take off the environment, right? How to do that. Okay. So still they give us options. You know, we can build it from scratch, affect skill, a high low gain skill. Okay, these are you know, already uh, you know pre-built. Uh, maybe we'll try them out if, if we have time. Uh, but there's this one uh, that we can build from scratch. So let's select that one. But you can see here as well. Uh, there's other options. You can import a skill, or you can continue with a template, right? So from here. Uh, so here we've actually built an app. Um, yeah, we'll build an app, you know, with different intents, etc. right? Um, you could use, you know, this information uh, to upload it, to upload it here when you import. But I think the way I'll show you uh, soon enough, but the way you'd have to upload it, is you know <clears throat> using uh, this sort of JSON uh, type of format, right? Uh, I haven't tried it out, but I think this is what you have to do, right? To upload it uh, there. Um, but what we'll do in this case uh, is keep okay, keep little windows. So I have too many windows open. Right, so we do it from from scratch, right? And then we continue with a template right makes it easier um, for us uh, less room for mistakes right so we we'll do that continue with the template but like i was saying you can just you know import it yourself if you've already built it for example uh the way you know i did here okay just a bit to create because it's running on AWS, so it needs to create uh, that environment for us. Um, I am not looking at... Okay. Just want to see if there's questions, comments. Okay. Nothing so far. Uh, guys, please feel, feel free uh, because soon enough we'll be done with the, with the user interface uh, part of it. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask. Okay, great. So it's done creating, right? And then, um, yeah, you can read, you know, um, it'll tell you, you know, give you some valuable information. Uh, what I like actually about Amazon is, well, also even with, uh, you know, GCP, uh, Google Cloud Platform, you know, there's a lot of documentation, right? Like if you're reading, you can do almost anything, right? Uh, so it, it's very detailed. You can do almost anything on, on those cloud platforms because they do docu very good uh, documentation. So here they're actually telling you how to work with, you know, this console, 
and you know what you need to do to complete your 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 your, your skill, right? And here you can see that okay, we have given it an invocation name, you know, uh, intent, symbols, and, and, and slots. Okay, I guess they they're saying it's done. I'm not sure what they've created. Okay, they've created these built-in ones there. Um, you know, you can build a model. Oh. It's a, okay, building model. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is where uh, in you know okay, strength things out here. Uh, this this model that we've actually looked at the other time, right? There's you know ASR one the uh, automatic speech recognition, right? This is where you know you can try link it. If you've got your your output, etc., you can link it to to Alexa. Um, yeah. Okay. Is it done building? There's no errors. There's no warnings. Okay. So okay, what it should do? It should open this as I was hoping. Okay. Okay. Should, okay. So, so you can just view there. You can just go directly. Okay. And these are you know the models custom as uh, you know smart home. This is the one that's you know uh, active. Uh, if I turn this one on, this one can also be active, right? You can save it. Right? Uh, yeah. So let's see. Okay, so so this are okay. So that's you know if you build your own model, then you can link it that way, and then if you are in as as it was with the other option, right, uh, where you can deploy in your own environment, then you you have an endpoint, right? You have your endpoint, and when someone hits that endpoint, uh, then you know you return your your answer, right? So this is using AWS, uh, but in this case. The option would be you know, HTTPS, but I guess if you deployed it uh, with Lambda, right, uh, then this is, you know, um, for, for each different region, then this this would be your endpoints, right? Uh, so, yeah, um, I'd say maybe, yeah, so there's a lot of things you could change here, right? Uh, there's, but basically, these are the main steps. Right, and I guess you can monetize it as well. You know, if you're a business person, you can you know publish it and then start making money when people are using this code. Right, but these are the four most important things um, that you need to look at. And here you can you know you know play around with all these different options. Um, you know, for example, here they have got <coughs> six intents: cancel intent, help intent, stop intent, etc. Uh, we can open one of them to see what's in there. Okay, so there's no sample utterances that you can add. So this is also um, uh, so by name one one. For example, okay, this is enough Unicode code Okay. Okay, so by Tile mother, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want numbers. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so you can have all the, the utterances, etc. And you can do a bulk edit, which is quite interesting. You know, um, you can browse if you've got a, a CSV, you can drop it and upload all your uh all your intents, you know, which is which is amazing. All, all your simple utterances for this particular intent, right? Um yeah, so they give you the simple ones. And you can add your own. Right? You can add your own, you know, etc. Right. So this is quite, quite very useful. Um, I like uh, this this user interface. It's, it's quite, it's quite helpful. Um, yeah. So this is quite interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of things you can you know, edit as JSON. You know, as you can see here, <coughs> sort of same 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 thing. Um, that you are doing here, but you are doing this, this JSON. 
uh, you can sort of dump, you know, describe adjacent with all your uh, you know, invocation names, right? So here, invocation names, remember, like we were saying that, you know, the invocation name or weak, uh, weak word is Alexa. So here, it's, you know, it's change me, but they're just saying, you know, you need to change this, uh, give it your own. Uh, and here, I think we just say, we can call it test Alexa, for example. Maybe that's like, you know, you're playing around, you want to test Alexa, you call it text Alexa. Uh, but if you already have a JSON that you described somewhere else, uh, for example, like this one, like this one, right? Then you can just copy this <coughs> and and dump it in. Okay? Just have to make sure that you know you've described it properly. Uh, you know there are no syntax errors, etc. You fo you follow the format that they need, or you can just you know uh, upload it uh, as a JSON, and you'll be good to go. Right? So 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 quite good, quite good. Uh, yeah, but as you can see, the, the UI is loaded. Uh, there's quite a lot of things that you could be doing here. Uh, so just, you know, create your developer account, play around with it. Um, you know, uh, you can do it in, in code. So let's leave this. Okay. <clears throat> right. It's quite interesting, right? So you can see, um, you know, all the different, you know, handlers for different intents, right? You saw uh, in terms of the options that, where was it? Can uh, I that go back far? But if you remember, there was HTTPS and AWS ARN, right? And in the among the ARN um, sort of uh, locations, it was lambda that related and for it different regions, right? So I think you know if you describe it like this, then this that's how you'd share it, right? So it's, it's quite um, elaborate. Uh, you can you know <clears throat> put you know your requirements file here uh, in terms of you know what things you need to be installed for it to run. Here it's very simple. It's just you know the CLI for Amazon and you know Kubuntu three is how you communicate with different Amazon. Um, you know, uh, services through Python. Uh, I'm not sure if Node.js uses Portal 3 as well or something else, but that's how you communicate with um, programmatically from Python <coughs> to communicate with the uh, AWS services. You can communicate with uh, S3, etc. And this would be the SDK, right? Uh, that's, you know, that, that handles, uh, you know, that makes the Python, I guess, work, right? That's the SDK for, for ASK. In this case, right? Uh, I think this would be for Alexa, specific to Alexa, right? Uh, utils. Guess it's just you know some other code that you know you you may need, right? But you see, there's a there's a really like, Dynamo DB, uh, S3 storage, uh, you know CloudWatch. You can see <clears throat> the usage of you know of, of your uh, of your skill. You can integrate with other services. You can download the school. You can import code, right? Remember, uh, there's we have code here, right? We have code here. Uh, for example, if you see among the samples, you have diff uh, different samples here that you know are, are pre-built. I'll show you where to find this. Are pre-built. Then, if you want to upload that, then you can just upload that. Um, you know that do the, those those skills and and test them out. Make sure that they're running properly, right? Uh, and you can, yeah, you can deploy and, you know, promote to live, right? So you could do it, you know, via the UI as well. You could do it via code. You can test it out. So you, so you've described everything that you need, and now you, you need to test if it does what, what it's supposed to do, right? Um, yeah, so I think that the most important thing is that based on, you know, what I'm showing you here, it's a question of how do we take, uh, for example, I hope I still have that file. All right. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, 
code downloads plus train to okay. It's a bit of a big file. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, for example, uh, okay. that you know. So, actually, I should be opening this one. It's too much information. I think I have a sample here. Okay, <clears throat> that's our sample, right? So, uh, given you know, this sound, right? Let's say it's in Kiswahili or it's in uh, Amharic, uh, Tonga, Zulu, whatever language you speak, <clears throat> right? And then this would be, you know, the text that you are getting back, right? So basically from here to here, you've got, you know, your, your model in between that, you know, basically what you want Alexa to do is, you know, do a, a transcription, right? Uh, well, actually, probably this would be because now we're talking Alexa, so this would not be text, it would probably be English, uh, you know, and English audio, right? Uh, you know, but you know, what you would do maybe it's go from here to text, so this would be speech to text. So you go to this is speech, so this is speech. And then you go to text, right? And then uh, you have something else here, which is called answer. Uh, and if I list another audio, right? So to the wave file, and then this would be English speech, right? So this would be African speech. Right, so it's probably this is a skill that you want to build uh, for you know for AWS. So say I've got you know some words I want to say in my own home language, but of course you know I don't think the technology is that advanced to convert it directly to English uh, sound. But what they do normally is that they convert it to you know to uh, text and then convert that text to to speech again. So this is uh, I think it's called text to speech and this would be at this point speech to text uh something like that <clears throat> i think that's the, those are the abbreviations that they use right so that's what you need to start thinking about uh mostly in 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 light of of your a few tasks and assignments how to actually leverage um all these all these tools to to get that working uh okay so, but yeah, here, you know, there's a lot. Um, added courage actually playing around with, with this environment. Uh, but other than that, right, so I did say that you can actually import code. But other than that, what you could also do is build from scratch in code and just upload your code, right? So I have a number of samples here. Uh, so I did, so this is, this is running on my local machine, right? Uh, it's running on my local machine, uh, and this is on AWS um, <clears throat> on the cluster, right? As you can see here, I'm using this EC2 user, uh, and then this is this is my IP address, right? Um, and also, okay, this one because I'm not it's not active, so it keeps closing, and also this one has closed. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so this is on AWS. Uh, so I okay, so get in books. Okay, so remember, um, Yabi said that if you put your data uh, or your code or whatever within this folder, it doesn't get overwritten, right? But if you put it, I think here uh, in home right it does get overwritten so 
I have put mine here because I still need to work with this. And I still need to work with this. Um, right. So <clears throat> this would be, you know, my data that I'm using. So you've got your notebook, right? You've got your notebook there. Uh, and this is the data. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the, the app that I have there as well, right? This is the app that I have there. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I'd to type out the whole thing. Okay, so this is the app that I have there that I was showing you. But got, you know, a bunch of things, you know, uh, and it's using this Flask Ask, which is very important. Uh, so Flask Ask is like, a, it's a module that's been built that allows you to communicate from Python to communicate with um, Alexa, right? So it's quite important. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's, that's the code that I have there. Uh, and then I also have this, I'm not sure if it's complete. This is my virtual environment, right? So I do have, you know, my base at Anaconda environment, but this is also my VN environment, but they can work together, right? So I can do source, if I do VN, in activate, right? So you can see I have my VNV environment and I've got my base environment. I think this one comes first. So Python would look, uh, you know, for whatever uh, libraries here first. If it doesn't find them there, it will go to base, right? And it's based on, you know, um, this requirements dev uh, file, right? But it did take a while. I um, actually wanted to do this demo here on the on the cluster, but I'm not sure if it's my network. I can't do my network, uh, but yeah, because when I'm on the cluster, I'm using the, the cluster um, network, so it should be faster. <clears throat> so yeah, so this took a while, but I think now it is done. But what I have here, right? What I have here, which is the, the Flask Ask app and, and, and my data there is the same thing that I have um, here locally, right? So you can see also here, you know, this is still running. It's been running for a long time, right? Um, anyway, yeah. So to show you, um, just, you know, I'm going to be doing the demo here locally uh, is first uh, showing you that, um, so this really basically two things. I'm sure many of you have used Flask before, right? So basically you export, you know, your app. So right, right, right now I've just created a, so this red app. I've just created this file, app.py, and I'm saying, you know, that's my that's my Flask app. Right? But you can see here that in samples, I have lots of samples, right? So maybe what I want to do instead is export uh, your Flask app equals into samples, do audio, uh, this is really quite, you know, important uh, in terms of, you know, the, the audio to text or, you know, etc. So that's a, a sample that, you know, you may want to look at um, here. And then I've got a playlist demo and I've got the playlist. I can do that. Uh, but with that one, if I run it, it does have some issues. Probably what I suspect is that because it cannot, from my local environment, it, it has no way of figuring out how to communicate with um, AWS Alexa, right? Because I'm running it here in this uh, Flask app that's been defined here, this uh, Flask ask, right? It needs to communicate with, with Alexa on, on AWS, right? Um, yeah, I haven't looked at this in detail. I don't know how <clears throat> it actually does it, but I'm sure it needs to communicate with, with Alexa, right? So this is, this is the library that will allow you to communicate with Alexa. But I think if I'm doing it here, right, it won't exactly communicate with Alexa. So, uh, so for example, here, if I refresh this, right, it says 
you know, method not allowed because it doesn't know what it is, right? I don't have that in my uh, local environment. So which is why I'm doing this simple one just to demonstrate. So, okay, it's just the simple one. Okay, and then if it's just all running, let's run it. But I do believe that if you run this within this environment, which I, I which within here, you know, you have better luck. Uh, we can we can solve it together later. Um, but if I refresh that, then yeah, right, that's fine. It's running well, right? So the other one is just an issue of, you know. It cannot communicate with probably uh, Alexa over there. But here, it doesn't have Alexa yet, right? Um, which is this one, right? So you can see it's a simple, um, you know, uh, uh, Flask app, right? Um, make sure is it this one. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is the one, this is the one that it's doing. Uh, but this one doesn't doesn't have a, doesn't have a root. Yeah, so this all these other ones don't have roots, right? So this works because you know Flask already takes care of this. But here is a question. Okay, and and, and time is up. Uh, but anyway, uh, to close off, it's a question of you know we have. Let me show you here. There's a nice. Musa, nice, it takes time. I can wait a few minutes. No problem. Is it okay? So, Okay, I'm just wrapping up. So the most important thing is, I'll share, I'll share this with you. The UI has changed uh, since, right? Uh, the UI has changed, but um, there's a, it's a three-part um, tutorial, uh, but I think everything comes together in part three, right? Where they show you, you know, um, you know this is a sample app that you can build. And, you know, when you go to Alexa, so the developer console is changed, right, as I was showing you there. So just remember what I showed you, and then you, you go to Alexa that way. And then you can, you know, add your skills. And like I was saying that, you know, if you want to edit this way, you can edit this way. Or you can type it there, or you can import a JSON. And, and these are, like, simple intents, yes intent, you know, right? So when you call those different intents, and this is, you know, what you would get. Uh, yeah, and then you know you can test it out. Um, here you're testing it out locally, uh, but you can test it out also on the platform itself. And what I think I haven't mentioned that may be a bit confusing. Uh, I think we can find in this samples, right? Uh, it's you know if you look at the simple sample here, like this playlist one. Does it have it? Yeah. Okay. So you see, for example, here you have this intents there that you see so this is amazon the post intent you know the presume intent right so basically this is you know if you're communicating with alexa uh you know this is you know what you'd want to be be saying um you know this is how it maps to so that, uh, alexa can know um what to do right? and so these are the different uh things that that you have but in the samples there's different ones in, in different level of detail Right, you can play around with them. Uh, as you can see, what it, what's going on here is that for all your intents, right? So, for example, here there's a speech, and then there's a stream URL, right? And basically, a cliff, like I was saying, for audio, um, if you are doing um, the uh, the assignment, you know, you may want to look at this and see how you can define it, adapt it for for your own purposes. Uh, yeah, but uh, basically. Um, that's what I can show. Uh, maybe uh, to close off, maybe I just want to show you. So what I worked on extensively, um, assistant, it's this one. I think it's this one. Uh, probably has changed now, right? Um, so I actually built something on uh, what's on assistant. Uh, yeah, so if you also you know want to learn about this as well, you can ask me about it. I built a, a nice chatbot, with, but it's very, it's very similar to to how Alexa works, right? So concepts of you know uh, intents um, and and entities, you know, uh, which are like you know all the uh, the different 
uh, items that you, you want to work with is really, really uh, similar. That's why it was quickly, it was easy for me to, to pick up um, how Alexa works. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it for me. Um, I don't need to go ahead. Great, thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about something pretty different now from Alexa to pay it forward. But first, why don't we let everyone take a three minute break in case anyone needs to go to the bathroom, get a glass of water, uh, and we'll stop recording. And then we'll start recording again in a couple of minutes.